The Biden White House giving a TikTok an ultimatum. They want the Chinese-owned company to either sell or face a ban in the U.S. But what is sale the company and the national security concerns raised by the app? Cybersecurity expert Brian Cunningham joining us tonight to put this all in perspective. A sale would sound nice to appease those who don't want the, the interconnection here between ByteDance and TikTok, but it's probably not that easy. Well, I can only hope that my 20-something daughters are not watching this as they will kill me for supporting any limitation on their <laughs> access to TikTok. That's how addictive it is. But if you could establish a real separation with U.S.-only ownership and technical and legal assurances that the data could not be sent back to China and that the U.S. government had the ability to monitor that, that could work. I don't think a ban could work. I just don't see how you could enforce it. Would China which they would have to at this point, ByteDance being China, would they have to approve this sale? And do you think they would? It's hard to say. They, they've been pretty willing to step up to the line. They've had U.S. officials of the company testify under oath in Congress that the data was being sent back, and they haven't budged. But they know that the U.S. is a huge market. And I, at some point, they might be willing to trade the profits for the data, but I'm not even sure that's true because China is creating at least three huge concerns here. First of all, they could be harvesting all of our kids and many of our adults' data for their own economic and our national security benefit. Second, they could use TikTok to deliver malware that would enable them to steal data off of other apps on your devices. And third, they can use it to deliver their propaganda and misinformation to shape our public opinion and thinking also not for our benefit. But if they prioritize that third point, being able to put out propaganda over stealing our data, maybe there's a deal to be had. And then we just have to be responsible to not fall for their, their propaganda. And I don't want to oversimplify things, but there's this thing known as Project Texas, which seems like there's some sort of oversight by a third party here, that being Oracle. Is this working? Is it proving to work at all, at least in the, the beginning stages? I think it's a little bit too early to tell. I think when the U.S. officials are under oath and testify, they're pretty clear that under Chinese law, the Chinese can get this data whenever they want it. So as a national security lawyer, and by the way, I used to be the White House lawyer working on these issues mm -hmm. uh, about a dozen years ago, two, 20 years ago, um, I would want technical assurances that the data can't be set back, not just China's word for it. Yeah, that's, that's going to be pretty tough uh, to sell, at least as we see it now. Well, we've seen the government uh, ask that everyone remove the application from cell phones, from government uh, entities, whether that be a computer, et cetera. Uh, what do you see, and, and I know you don't have a crystal ball, but as we look towards the end of 2023, where do we see TikTok here in this country? Well, the best possible solution of all, of course, would be a non-Chinese competitor that could take the market share from TikTok. But that doesn't seem likely because TikTok appears to have been able to successfully take market share from the U.S. social media companies. So I think the best thing we can hope for is a real separation with technical means to enforce it and with the data provably not going back to China. And I think it's just anybody's guess whether China is going to prioritize the data over the money. All right. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see, just like everybody else. Brian Cunningham, we appreciate yeah. you coming on. Thank you.